little um, care packages with a granola bar, um, a scarf, socks. Ed Grift and Shelly Stout are outreach workers with the Union Gospel Mission. Almost every day the duo packs this van full of food and clothing donations before setting out to deliver the items to the most vulnerable across the Fraser Valley. Typically on a day we'll see, like the other day we saw 65 people. The Homelessness Services Association of BC did their last count in 2020 and they saw close to 900 people in the Fraser Valley unhoused. The outreach team says since then they've seen more people living in bushes, under bridges and by train tracks. And they've noticed that there's been an increase in pe people experiencing homelessness here in the Fraser Valley, especially among youth and seniors. Clay Lauder has been living on and off the streets since he moved to Mission five years ago. There's young people here and they're like 19 years old, 20 years old, and they need, they deserve a shot. The BC Coroner Service says close to 250 people experiencing homelessness died in 2021, a steep 75% spike over the number of lives lost in 2020. This woman says she's been searching for safe, affordable housing for months, often feeling like she has no place to go. Then, yeah, the credit or criminal record, and then they... They don't want to rent to you, right? And with shelter spaces limited, this man says he's seen a lot of new people traveling from community to community looking for a warm place to sleep. Like you've seen grown men cry, right? Because it's so cold and they're just, it's, it's hard to watch. And even if they can secure shelter space, for some, they feel living outdoors in isolation is a safer option. All the fighting and stuff always, right? No privacy. You know, always everybody's always arguing with everybody else, right? And a lot of thieving going around. It's not it's not one thing. It's many things that many barriers that they're facing. So it's yeah. like um, I don't know. Ed and I just come alongside them and and meet them where they're at, and we come from a lens of love and compassion. Thank you. Good to see your smiling day. face today. Oh, I'm always smiling. <laughs> Because I've met a lot of people there, you know, they're great. They, they had a job and they had a place to live and, and then all of a sudden things, all it takes is one little hiccup and then it, it drops you down again, drops you down again and look at the price it costs to, to live here. Advocates say the homeless count is about so much more than just numbers. It's about gaining an accurate understanding of who is living without housing, the reasons behind that and what supports are needed. We count people because people count. Every person has value. Teams of volunteers will be combing through BC communities starting March 7th and 8th, and data will be collected until early May. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Mission.